all right we are once again back at again here with some more rising steel action and of course like i said previously this is hades week so of course we gotta do all the summons we gotta do all the showcases you know level 100 no dupes level 100 full dupes and of course at our max potential level 120 full dupes to see exactly how powerful this new 80s is and of course we gotta do the ranking events that came out with 80s um the it will determine exactly how powerful she is right now with no dupes at level 100 and this is going to be the team we're going to be rocking and uh to break it down a little bit more uh we have of course the main character 80s as a leader to give that extra 25 percent incarnate um that little bit of more buff to uh, start off strong uh we have a title as 80s best friend to give us that 10 percent for 80s there uh we got kirito at the end in the sub member section uh just for the sole purpose of 80s requires at least the recollection field gauge to be at three steps or higher to get an extra 20 percent attack buff for both her incarnate as well as her assault and uh, that kirito with his incarnate as she does give three um like plus three to the recollection field um so that's why he's here just for that um asana there is for her enhanced skill as she gives a 20 percent attack buff to all allies and of course asana has to be the special partner for the active link with 80s as being the only asana on the team we have leafa there solely for the healing purposes because no one else here is a healer so she's gonna be our healer we got seen on there um, because she actually gives a little bit of a attack buff to the entire team and she also raises recollection field gauge and then yuki is there to be as one of our main breakers as well as raising the recollection field gauge I didn't mean to click that and then as in terms of equipment I did not pull her weapon but if you do like the mission tiers for this event you can actually at the very end at tier 30 you can actually get her weapon for free so you don't have to summon for it so that's probably what I'm going to do for now I use night sky sword r4 which gives um, attack and magic attack but um, plus 9% Plus, it reduces MP used by 20%. We got an R4 armor here, increased HP by 6%. As well as, like I said, this is gonna be like a free to play version, which um, most players I doubt will have any dupes in her. So, we're gonna probably not use the strongest rings we have here. And we're gonna use some of the free to play ones or free to play accessories, which increases the MP of Dark Element characters by 3%. So this is the team, let's see how good we can actually do and if we can actually rank up. As you guys saw I was, uh, what was it, rank, t uh, rank 18. So let's try to beat that. Let's see if we can actually beat it with this 80s with no dupes. Um. Alright, so f already we're starting off here. Um, we need some healing um but before that i think mm. all right so i think what we should do is we should start off with an attack buff or yeah yeah an attack buff should be good All right, there we got that attack buff. We do this enhancement her to get that extra ten percent attack and debuff the enemy on both fizz and r magic res, which gives us the edge here a little bit more. Um, then here we can do this. We put Xenon out, so we have all the breakers there to break them. We can use Kirito to raise your collection field gauge already. And then if we do break them, we can just heal right off the bat. 
so yeah let's see how good this strategy is work gonna be working so and see how much damage i'm guessing with all the buffs she's gotten already which is 25 percent attack um she's gonna be hitting about i want to say 80,000. because is the rate collection field gauge already up because if it is she got the extra 20 it is so she might be hitting like 80,000 already out the bat on her first attack so let's raise that up a little bit more but i don't think she i don't think she gets that buff on a break the 20 percent so it might be more like 40 to 50,000. but we'll see we'll see all right and she does sacrifice health to do more damage and she does hit like 37,000 which is not bad for a new unit um it was a crit too so all right that was pretty decent damage there we almost broke him um he's actually really close um here now i think we're gonna heal we need to heal um let's heal and then uh, going to uh all right we're going to charge i believe we should charge all right that goes up to 86 yeah definitely seen on um Yeah, let's get this ready for next turn. Um, all right, there. And I'm not worried because we're going to active link here. Which is going to get rid of his incarnate. And we we'll get to see a little bit more damage of, of 80s here. So let's see exactly what she has in terms of buffs. So right now she only has a... She has 25% attack up for two ter three turns, so... Here we're actually going to see the 20% attack because we are going to assault. So this is going to be close enough right now as we're going to see to her incarnate. So, alright, now the question is, should we do this? Um, no, she's going to cap out 30. So it doesn't really make sense, so. Let's try to get more incarnate because I feel like he's going to lower it a, a, a bit. So let's see the damage here. All right, 56,000. But reminder, that was not a crit. If it was a crit, it would have been well over 70,000. And that was just in her assault and her 110,000. Wow, that's impressive. And the reason I say that's impressive is because um, that's with no dupes. With dupes, um, let me remind you guys that her imaginariums actually do give her an extra 6% per dupe. So actually an extra 24% she's missing from her, for attack. So those numbers can actually get higher. She can actually get close to, I believe, 200,000. Alright, so she... He did do that to us. Alright. Mm. Okay, so let's set up for next turn to do the incarnate with 80s. So let's actually do this to Sinan. Yeah, definitely Sinan. Alright, there gonna stay there charge boom now we got incarnate ready for next turn and the reason I don't do it this turn is because um, I want to actually get this little bit of extra buff on 80s from uh, awesomeness 
yeah from Asana support so we can cap her out because I believe she's still at 25% rate yeah all right and recollection feels still really good five yeah so let's do this again because he is gonna incarnate charge so we can break him all right 60 and then we'll do this for the mix no sacrificial health hopefully she doesn't die from attack another 53,000 but again her crit her crit is actually um another 124,000 okay yep she's getting up there a bit yeah also i forgot about that mechanic where um she has that super strong uh continuous damage which you guys saw there is it did like seventy three thousand. right it was seventy three thousand, or was it like seven thousand? i i don't know i'm linked right now okay all right all right so here We can definitely switch you out. We need to break them, so we need 80s up here. Ugh, I hate when they don't want to go up here. Just come up here, 80s. We need you. She's literally not wanting to come up here. All right, there we go. Now that Aegis is put in place, we have our break characters out. She has that good 30% buff, which is basically her max. Recollection fuel gauge is still at three. So she is gonna be getting that 20% um, attack buff on her incarnate, as well as on her assault. So this is gonna be basically her full power right now, as of no dupes and um, Let's see what she can do. My guess is... My guess is... That she's probably going to be doing around 160,000? I want to say. Which is still really good. Really good. Really, really good. With no dupes. And the total amount of power that she's actually putting out is... 183,000 ladies and gentlemen 183,000 no dupes imagine this is just her no dupes she can actually get another 24 percent as well if you modify the team and put some more support characters in there um to get more crits she's she's busted like she's probably one of the best characters in the game all right we need to break this guy so Oh, we did not break them. The calculations were not here. But we we saw what we needed to see. We don't need to complete this. Um, we saw basically what she can do. Maxed out. She got that thirty percent from her. Uh, um, from her like basically support. Where she the plays the max you can get in, <clears throat> during the match. Uh, she got the extra ten percent from her being in enhanced mode, which is forty percent plus the extra ten percent from from the title, which is fifty percent. So if we were to add dupes, we could be seeing an extra seventy four. Now let's put you in. Can be seen an extra 74% attack buff, which is insane. But anyways, um, there's nothing I can do here, so let's just auto start the outro. But yeah, guys, that's basically the full power of 80s right now. Um, 
with all, all the equipment basically any of you guys who pull her can get that amount of damage which is insane for like a no dupe character the only other dupe character i think i've seen can do that um i'm trying to think back it has to be titania asuna that came out a while back actually she was also dark element character if you guys remember she was also putting out big numbers like that but uh yeah uh <laughs> i'm impressed i'm impressed i don't know about you guys but i am really impressed but anyways guys if you like this type of videos then consider going down there hitting that like button as well as subscribing for more content just like this um always appreciate you guys stopping by watching the videos you know supporting and um but yeah uh wait for more videos like i said we're gonna be doing like a world tour seeing how strong she de um this 80s develops next video is gonna probably be uh summoning for the other dupes i don't have of her but i'm waiting for a pickup banner for that first um after that we're gonna totally jump back into the ranking events and see if she can actually hit over the 200k marker which she probably can with all her dupes and then after that we're gonna see how massive a jump she can actually do at level 120 with full dupes with i forgot to mention as well a fully decked out attack buff rings which is gonna be insane I, I, i'm ready i can already imagine like 300k that would be stupid but anyways guys you if you like the video like i said like that video support the channel um that's it for me check out other videos on the channel it should be on the screen in the meantime but thanks again for watching guys and i hope to see you guys in the next one peace out guys